Morning, Michelle. Morning, Mark. Sanitize before we start. Well, greetings everyone and thank you for joining us today. You may not believe it, but uh, we've been 365 and six, 366 days into lockdown uh, or into this time of COVID lockdown since last year. And we weren't able to celebrate together Palm Sunday and Easter Sunday and those kind of things. So it's wonderful today that today we can celebrate together Palm Sunday. And Palm Sunday is the event where Jesus comes over the, over the Mount of Olives into Jerusalem riding on, on a donkey with the kind of whole understanding of the Messiah coming into, Jeru into Jerusalem. And the folk wave palm branches as they shout out, Hoshana, Hoshana, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And we just, what a wonderful start to Holy Week now as we go into the service, which will start with the blessing of the palms, and then we will continue with this service as, as usual. So, the Lord be with you. And also with you. We're now going to go to Blessing of the Palms and as well as to um, some of the acclamations that we do at this time on Palm Sunday. Hosanna to the Son of David, the King of Israel. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Dear friends in Christ, during Lent we've been preparing by works of love and self-sacrifice for the celebration of the Lord's Paschal Mystery. Today, we come together to begin the solemn celebration in union with the whole church throughout the world. Christ enters his own city to complete, complete his work as our Savior, to suffer, to die, and to rise again. And so let's go with him in faith, united in his sufferings, as we share his risen life. We're now going to bless the palms. And I've got more than one, so hold them all up. Let us pray. Eternal God, bless these palms to our use. Grant that we who have received them may ever hail as King and love as Saviour, your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We're now going to go into a time of penitence. In a time of quiet, let us draw to mind those areas in our lives that we can bring before the cross where we can lay them at the feet of Jesus and where we can firmly resolve to, to honour and keep God's commandments that we may live in love and peace with our neighbour. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, in penitence we confess that we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought, word and deed and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, Christ our Lord, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Jesus says, Come to me, all you are burdened and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Have you truly repented, receive the forgiveness of God. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon your sins and set you free from them, Confirm and strengthen all goodness and keep you in eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And I turn to the colic for Palm Sunday. Eternal Father, your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, fulfilled your will by taking our nature and giving his life for us. Help us to follow the example of his humility by walking in the way of the cross through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We now turn. To the gospel reading for the day. Listen to the good news proclaimed in the gospel of Mark chapter 11 starting at the first verse. Glory to Christ our Saviour. As Jesus and the disciples approached Jerusalem and came to Bethphage and Bethany at the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two of his disciples saying to them, go to the village ahead of you and just as you enter it, you will find a colt tied there, which no one has ever ridden. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone asks you why you are doing this, tell them, the Lord needs it and will send it back here shortly. And so they went and found a colt outside in the street tied at a doorway. As they untied it, some people standing there asked, what are you doing untying that colt? And they answered as Jesus had told them to, and the people 
let them go. When they brought the colt to Jesus and threw their cloaks over it, he sat on it. Many people spread their cloaks on the road, while others spread branches they had cut in the fields. Those who went ahead and those who followed shouted, Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the coming kingdom of our father David. Hosanna in the highest. This is the gospel of Christ. Praise to Christ our Lord. What a wonderful Bible drama as this whole thing unfolds. You can just imagine Jesus. I mean, John's gospel includes other aspects of that. The fact that Jesus wept when he came over to Jerusalem. The shortest verse in the Bible comes from from John, where it just says Jesus wept, as he wept over Jerusalem, and just knowing that the folk that were cheering him on, and maybe had just lost uh, the real plot, thinking that this was a Messiah in, 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 in the manner of David, a, a political Messiah who was going to throw back and remove the Roman oppression from them. Yet Jesus came not to do that, but as we've been sharing over the last few weeks, Jesus came to inaugurate the kingdom of heaven. And so, you can imagine this, this drama as he comes over the hill, he's coming from the east, he's coming from the direction of the Messiah. All these little things the, the, the audience would have known in those days. And so he comes and he comes on a cult. A cult is something that the uh, a conquering king would come on in, in peacetime. During wartime he'd come probably on a horse, on a chariot. Uh, but now he came on a donkey. So this Messiah comes in on a donkey and there's this huge response as people wave these palm branches. And this all goes back two, three hundred years to the time of the Maccabees uh, as they wave palm branches and they signify Jesus coming in as they acclaim him as the Messiah, as the King of Kings. And it's just wonderful, just if you can get caught up in that whole atmosphere, all the different people gathered around. But we also know as this draws us into the Passion, into the Passion Week, and Jesus' great heart for each one of us, that this is going to be quite a week for Jesus as he moves during the week into the temple, and we get various interactions in the temple, including throwing over the tables of the money changers. We then go into his final uh, meal with his, with his disciples, where he washes their feet, breaks bread with them, and then he goes to the cross on Friday. And uh, the wonderful thing we know is that we see the story in hindsight is that Jesus doesn't stay on the cross, but he does rise from the dead. And so we come in this wonderful mystery which we share over 2,000 years with Christians throughout the world. And it just is the most important moments and time in the Christian calendar. Never lose it. Never forget it. And that's why we repeat it year in and year out. It's just a wonderful memory for each and remembrance for us as Jesus goes towards the cross. But what a wonderful day, Palm Sunday, as Jesus is acclaimed as the Messiah. Amen. Let us now go into a time of prayer as Michelle leads us in prayer. Father, we pray for the church throughout the world, and especially for this diocese and Eddie, our bishop, together with Tabo, our metropolitan. Give your people power to witness in word and deed to the crucified Lord, and bring many to acknowledge him as their King and Saviour. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for those who are suffering persecution for the name of Christ. Give them grace to remain faithful, to pray for their persecutors, and to overcome hatred by the power of the cross. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for the world's outcasts. Set us free to recognize Christ in them. Lead them by your Spirit to find their hope in him. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for ourselves and all in this parish. Forgive us our many betrayals and denials of Christ. Enable us to share his sufferings and to know the power of his resurrection. We ask this for the sake of Jesus Christ, our King and Saviour. Amen. Amen. Before we pass the peace now, I'm just going to share some birthdays and wedding anniversaries with you. Um, it's Anne Kutsia's birthday today, as is Rob Penrith. And we wish them a very, very happy birthday today, especially on the Palm Sunday. And then others this week who are sharing birthdays, Morgan Evans, Rob Dawson, Bill Smith, Chris Jordan, Shelley Jordan, Debbie Derry, very important, <laughs> Emma Tindy, Jane Herbert, Mia Grant, not to say the others aren't important, uh, Alvin August, Leslie Kirsten, on Wednesday, Rachel Duplessis and Sandy Wells. And then on Thursday, Maundy Thursday, Grace Bossoff, Rose Bielman and Wendy Clark. 
And on Good Friday, Elsie Parisivia, Pariziva, oh, get tongue, tongue twisted there, uh, Vicky Edelson, and then on Easter Saturday, it's Carl Nimmo. Where the anniversaries this week? Grant and Susan Simpson, Georgia Merrill Duncan, and then on Easter Saturday, Clive and Dot Gage, Dusty and Felicity Biggs, Dave and Pam March, whose 60th anniversary it is, and Stan and Erica Senke. Mm. May they be blessed on those days. Mm. And so may the peace of the Lord be with you always. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. We're now going to move into our communion time. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Wash me clean, O Lord, and renew a right spirit within me. I was glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made, for us who becomes the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, for us it becomes the cup of salvation. Blessed be God forever. We're using the first Eucharistic prayer this morning. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. It is right indeed our duty and joy, Lord and Heavenly Father, God Almighty and Eternal, always and everywhere, to give thanks through Jesus Christ, your only Son, our Lord. Because through him you have created everything from the beginning and formed us in your own image. Through him you delivered us from the slavery of sin when you gave him to be born as man, to die on the cross and to rise from the dead. Through him you claimed us as your own people when you enthroned him with you in heaven and through him sent out your Holy Spirit, the giver of life. Therefore the angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven we acclaim you and declare the greatness of your glory we praise you now and forever saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And as those words echo to us from that first Palm Sunday, we say, hear us, Father, through your Son, Christ our Lord. Through him accept our offering of thanks and praise and send your Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts of bread and wine, so there may be to us his body and his blood. For on the night that Jesus was betrayed, he took bread, and when he had given you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you, do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper, Jesus took the cup, and after giving you thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you do this, you do this in memory of me. So we acclaim the victory of Christ. Dying, you destroyed our death. Rising, you restored our life. Lord Jesus, come in glory. Holy Father, with these your gifts, we your people celebrate before you the one perfect sacrifice of Christ our Lord. He is rising from the dead and is ascending to the glory of heaven. Gracious Lord, accept us in him, unworthy though we are, that so that we who share in the body and blood of your Son may be made one with all your people of this and every age. Grant that as we await the coming of Christ our Saviour, in the glory and triumph of his kingdom, we may daily grow into his likeness, with whom and in whom and through whom, by the power of the Holy Spirit, with all who stand before you in earth and heaven, we praise you, Father Almighty, throughout all ages now and forever. Amen. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. 
For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The bread which we break is not a sharing of the body of Christ. We who are many are one body, for we all partake of the one bread. When we give thanks over the cup, we realize Jesus' great love for each one of us. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, bearer of our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, Redeemer of the world, give us your peace. We do not presume to come to this your table, merciful Lord, trust in our own righteousness, but in your manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under your table, but you are the same Lord, whose nature is always to have mercy. Grant us, therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of your dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that we may evermore dwell in him and he in us. This time of COVID is always good to remember that God is on his throne. And so let the whole earth be quiet before him. The gifts of God for the people of God. Dearly beloved, draw near and receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which he gave for us, and his blood which he shed for us. Feed on him your hearts with great thanksgiving. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The blood of Christ. Give thanks to the Lord for He is gracious. His mercy endures forever. Almighty and eternal God, we thank you for feeding us in these holy mysteries with the body and blood of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, and for keeping us by your grace in the body of your Son, the company of all faithful people. Help us to persevere as living members of that holy fellowship and to grow in loving obedience, especially in this time during COVID and the pandemic. According to your will, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And as we come towards the end of the service, we wrap it up with this wonderful statement of faith as we go into the world, as we take our faith with us, and as we share it with others. Father, Father Almighty, we offer ourselves to you as a living sacrifice in Jesus Christ our Lord. Send us out into the world in the power of the Holy Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Dear beloved, on this Palm Sunday, may the Lord Jesus bless you and watch over you. May the Lord Jesus make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. So, next Sunday we can say the Alleluia's, but this <laughs> Sunday we're still where we've been for the last six weeks. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. Amen. Bless you all and thank you for being part of our service today. Take care this week. <laughs>